my door. Have I got the only door in Australia? <laughs> oh, good day, Darcy. Grumble one, Kenobi, I greet you as a fellow citizen of the globe. And Minnie Mouse, the spice midget. Yes, I like you too, Darcy. Have some frequent flyer mushrooms. <laughs> These aren't the ones you grow under your couch, are they? The very same. A trip around the world with every bite. <laughs> Last night I dropped in on the Hubble telescope. <clears throat> I think I'll give them a decent burial. Ted! Guess who's just joined the transvestite bungee jumping society? Who? <laughs> Beats me, but someone would have. <laughs> Happens every day. The world's full of people joining things. Makes you think, doesn't it? What do you actually want, Darcy? I knew you were going to ask me that. I did. I knew it. And you know what? I don't know what I want. <laughs> oh, yes, I do. It just going past me brain again. How would you like to be the proud owner of 300 litres of olive oil and a drum of vinegar? What would I do with all that? Just hide it for a while. <laughs> Why? There's someone with an empty delicatessen looking for it. 300 litres? That's a hell of a lot of salad dressing. Salad dressing, of course. You're a genius out of the mouths of midgets. <sighs> all I need now is a truckload of lettuce. <laughs> Why won't someone marry me? Who? Anyone? Why won't anyone marry me? I'm not a bad catch. Healthy, loving, zany, attractive. My teeth are a bit prominent, but the way I do my hair, nobody notices. No, I would never have noticed. I don't ask for much. A man. A man who loves only me. A man who doesn't love other women. Or other men. <laughs> or leeches. That's not too much to ask, is it? If you're that desperate, you could always join a dating agency. Never. I'm not that desperate. I haven't sunk that low. There's some mail for you. Thank you, Muriel. Aren't you going to open it? I will, in my own time. This one's from Ravers International. Life's a party be in it. Good, Muriel. Now, if you don't mind... It's a dating agency. <laughs> is it? Yes, I checked. Good. Their ad in the yellow pages says, We specialise in the desperate and dateless. Free listing in our catalogue until married. All right, Muriel. I joined a dating agency. Now get out, please. Aren't you going to open it? It's not sealed, so it won't be hard to open. <laughs> <laughs> for God's sake, Muriel! I wouldn't mind betting there's a real Mr. Right for you on page 10. <laughs> too busy. It was a silly whim. I'm going to ask my money back. Now, if you don't mind, some of us have work to do. <laughs> Any more salad, Jono? Oh, sorry, Ted. Teddy, you've eaten all your greens, even the flower arrangement. <laughs> I've never liked rabbit food before, but this stuff is great. I must admit that in the past I've been known to be highly critical of some of the execrable creations that have escaped from that kitchen, but tonight Cook has outdone herself. I mean, that salad in particular was sensational. But who would have thought Darcy would be such a deft hand with this special salad dressing? It's the oil, Muriel. Cold-pressed virgin olive oil. Story of my life, really. <laughs> You're a virgin? I've been a virgin hundreds of times. <laughs> but sadly, never cold pressed. <laughs> oh, there was that time with those two Eskimos. Oh, but that wasn't all. That was seal blubber. Yes. <laughs> well, sorry to love and leave you, but we've got to get down to the TAFE by seven. Come along, Muriel. Oh, what are you learning this time? I'm doing creative writing. Oh, you mean like graffiti? <laughs> <laughs> I can do that. I once wrote Bob Menzies is a dill on a lavatory in the railway. <laughs> it's not quite the same thing, Ted. This is literature. Muriel's writing a book. And I'm studying mind relaxation and meditation. You know, self-hypnosis, that sort of thing. You should try it. Oh, no. My mind relaxed years ago. <laughs> That's not the only thing that relaxed me. <laughs>
Attention, everybody. I've got something to It's just something I threw on. <laughs> Haven't you seen a healthy Australian girl before? <laughs> now, I won't be able to stay for the end of dinner because, well, I'm being taken out to dinner. Oh, well done! <laughs> by a very special man. What's his name? Oh, his name is, uh... <laughs> James. And he's a sincere, non-smoking gent. But before I go, I'd like to propose a special vote of thanks to Darcy. Come in, Darcy. Darcy. Thanks to Darcy's efforts, the village is almost self-sufficient. With his latest bumper crop, we've got free lettuce for everyone. Oh, well done, well done indeed, Darcy. Yes. Plus, tonight's salad featured Darcy's special new herbal salad dressing. And did we all love it? Oh, we certainly did. We certainly enjoyed it. And if you'd like more of it, please place your orders with Darcy. And only a dollar a bottle. Or as a once only bulk buying barganza, two for two dollars a bottle. <laughs> now, who wants what and how much do you want to pay? Oh, well, get down here. So then I had to go back to the state netball team because I didn't have enough hormones for the women's cricket team. <laughs> then, of course, I got into Ansett, Sheraton Hotels, and now I'm the youngest village manager in the Pines chain. Crikey, you're a young achiever, Samantha. Oh, it's nothing, just a gift. <laughs> what about you, James? What happened when you finally finished university? Crikey, it's been a wild ride, I can tell you. I mean, the ink was hardly dry on my degree in food technology when I was snapped up by industry. How interesting. What do you do? A quality control at a gravy factory. <laughs> right. You control the quality of gravy. And develop new ones. <laughs> new ones? What? Like, different colours? <laughs> oh, crikey, that's rich colours. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's funny. <laughs> Wait till I tell Gerald and Dennis down in batching. <laughs> Colours. You're funny. <laughs> what about outside of work? What do you A do social to... life? Oh, no, crikey, I wish. No, I won't get a break until the peak season's over. Gravy has seasons? <laughs> Christmas. It's torture in the lap. Although it seems gravy is under attack. People seem to be turning to cold seafood for Christmas. Yes, well, with hot weather, seafood is a logical alternative. It's not the point. People are taking gravy for granted. Crikey, I get angry. Well, I can understand that. Wait up. Would you marry me? <laughs> Would you be my wife? I mean, I believe men should share equally in domestic duties. Good, but Jack... And Mum will understand. She'll be happy in the sunroom with a TV and the vertical grill. Oh, wait, I'm going to have the bill, no, 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 don't go. I, I love you. You don't? Oh, I do. I mean, we'll be so happy together. I'll show you my gravy collection. I've got some dried sweet and sour from a Chinese too. Wait, I'm going to have the bill, please. No, no, I insist. I'll pay half. And forget about the petrol money. I've had such a great time. Oh, there goes my phone. I didn't hear it. It's a silent number. It'll be an emergency for sure, like a, uh, a fire in the village. <laughs> Hello, Samantha McDonald. You don't say. I'll be right there. Yep, there's a fire in the village, all right. Two of them. Gotta go. Heidi ho Life's a struggle. Bye. Can I call you? Whatever you like. Bye. Mum? You know how you were saying you love the sunroom? <laughs> well... Morning, Grumble Pop. It's afternoon. You came in very late last night. I suppose you're having fun. I was, actually. Good on you. Good to see young people having fun. Don't waste your life. Here, here. Have some money. Fifty bucks? Here, yeah, you're right, it's not enough. Here, have some more. Go on. Here. <laughs> Thanks, but actually... Got... No, 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 look, now you can buy yourself one of those lovely little silver studs for your nose. <laughs> or you could have a tattoo. A tattoo would be a good idea. I might have one myself. <laughs> what? I've never felt better. In fact, I'm thinking of becoming a vegetarian. 
<laughs> You've been eating Darcy's frequent flyer mushrooms. Ah, oh, you make me laugh. You beautiful young people are a joy to have around the house. But uh, you're looking a bit tired. Why don't you sit in my chair? <laughs> this is your chair. No, it's our chair. Enjoy. <laughs> ah, visitors. I love visitors. <laughs> I hope it's Amway. <laughs> Jono and Muriel, come in! Oh, great day, Ted. Got up early and hired a horse. What a great <laughs> idea! Can I come tomorrow? Did you go too, Muriel? Uh, no. I was a little bit tired after last night's, um, how shall I put it, exertion. <laughs> Jono got the Kahlua out. <laughs> You're a lucky man, Jono. And you, Muriel, you sultry little thing. If Jono wasn't my mate, I'd be white anting him. <laughs> guess who's on a promise for tonight? Eh, <laughs> hey, Bubbles? Muriel, <laughs> being so nice. What's going on? Oh, you young people. You just don't know how to enjoy yourselves. <laughs> so do people our age who really know how to have fun? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is terrific, Jono. Pass the salad dressing. <laughs> oh, you're a riot, Betty. <laughs> Who else would have thought of blowing a whistle in the ear? <laughs> One, Betty. <laughs> Have you noticed how everyone's so happy and jolly lately? What do you mean? Well, even you, Ted. You've been smiling. Oh, have I? Funny I didn't feel a thing. <laughs> and this morning, what made you give Madge Burrow's cat a saucer of milk? Oh, just because I love that bloody cat. <laughs> <laughs> That's it! It's the bloody salad dressing! Pardon, Jono. Think about it. Three days since we first had Darcy's salad dressing, and three days we've been <laughs> laughing like 12 year olds. <laughs> so it doesn't just make the salads feel good, it makes everyone feel good. <laughs> exactly, exactly. We can get rich, Ted. <laughs> Hold your horses, Jono. Remember how you were going to get rich out of those biodegradable golf balls? <laughs> Salad dressing. Oh, Greg Norman's doing one. Yeah, and you reckon he'd be doing it if there wasn't a quid in it? Nah. <laughs> yeah, we'll get Darcy's recipe and flog it to craft. <laughs> no, no, no. Second thoughts. Yeah, yeah. We'll launch Darcy Kelso's original herbal salad dressing. Yeah, it's a. It's choco with chuckles. <laughs> James, what can I say? I must be the only girl in Australia who has an experimental fish gravy named after her. <laughs> Flattered is not the word. <laughs> no, I can't go out for morning tea. Anyway, shouldn't you be close to your new gravy? All right, Samantha's blend? You don't want it congealing. Well, where are you? What car park? Our car park? <laughs> no, I can't go out tonight. I I'm staying in to wash my hair. Yes, again. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, God. Come. You wanted to see me, Samantha. Do oh, what lovely flowers. There's a man, isn't there? No. Yes, there is. Either that or it's your funeral and nobody's told to. <laughs> All right. I've got a gravy maker who wants to marry me. Oh, dear, a gravy maker. He sounds like the sort of man who wears socks with sandals. How did you know? Funny, I once had a hairdresser who wore socks with sandals. Nothing else, just socks and sandals. And a big smile. Mind you, he had a very good reason for that smile. <laughs> Joan, it's so unfair. I finally found a man who wants to marry me. Love me. He's even said he'll give his mother the flick. <laughs> well, he looks nice enough, and he is nice. It's just that he's so utterly... Nerdy. A makeover, that's what he needs. What do you mean? Samantha, darling, men are only put on this earth so women can mold them, bend them. I've bent hundreds of them backwards, sideways, you name it. <laughs> Some of them even broke. But how would I... Come with me and I'll tell you how to do it. <laughs> My way. 
the other thing to remember is never take no for an answer, because when they say no, they really mean yes, they just don't know. <laughs> when they say no, they really mean yes, they just don't know it. Samantha? Oh, God, it's him. <laughs> James! More flowers! Mum's a florist. <laughs> I bought you a ring. Do you like it? Oh, it's... It's... I'll tell you what it is. It's a Sri Lankan sapphire surrounded by Kimberley champagne diamonds at least 12 carats. Please, take it. I couldn't. Take it. Why? Because you can. You're a woman. <laughs> now, you must be James. I'm Joan Collins. I've heard so much about you. Oh, crikey, what did she say? This is not a job for amateurs. Leave this to your auntie Joan. I love a makeover challenge. <laughs> Now, James, would you like to come into the garden with me? No. Yes, you would. You just don't know it. Come along. <laughs> I believe you're very interested in gravy. How fascinating. Have you ever sucked gravy from the toes of a black woman? <laughs> you must remember what you put in the salad dressing. No. It's gone. It's the substance. It's in there somewhere. I've learned all about this at night school. The human brain does not forget anything. It's just a matter of getting it out. You mean like with a drill? No, Ted! <laughs> Why am I surrounded by dill brains? I'm not a dill brain. Hang on, if he's not, that must mean I am. <laughs> I ask you, I'm still learning about this, but I'm going to give it a go. I am going to hypnotise you. You can't hypnotise me. I hypnotised a chook at night school. I can hypnotise you. <laughs> now, pay attention. Not yet! <laughs> just trying to give you a bit of confidence. Oh, for God's sake. Let's just look, shut up and concentrate, right? Feet up here. Right now. Close your eyes. Right now. Um, and uh, I'm taking you back. Back through the minutes and the hours. Back. Further and further. Traveling through time. Relaxed. Very relaxed. Now. Where are you? On Ted's couch. Damn. <laughs> Sorry, Sir John, nothing happened. Arr! Arr! <laughs> what? Arr! But what's going on, Ted? Arr! I be stout out pulpit, forester to the good King Henry! Arr! Wow! <laughs> Sir Johnny, you've zapped him with your brain! Now, hang on, Ted! <laughs> uh, stout heart, what year is it? It be the year of our Lord, 15 and 27! Arr! <laughs> what do you do? I be stout heart pulpit! Keeper of the King's New Forest. I protect the trees from knaves and poachers. <laughs> and how do you do that? I creep through the forest here. And when I see someone cutting down a tree, I leap out and shout, The King's Wood! You're not taking the King's Wood! <laughs> Oil and vinegar and salt and pepper and what? A teaspoon of sugar. Right, a teaspoon of sugar. Uh, you sure that's all? Uh, that's what he said when he was hypnotised. Seems yeah. right to me. Right, now. Uh -huh. Now, let's give it a try, huh? Mm. Mm. Now, um, uh, mm. original and... Uh, oh. Mm. This is the stuff. Mm. What do you reckon, Ted? It's exactly the same. Yeah, that's nothing in this to make people feel happy. <laughs> Beats me. Knock, knock, cooey. Not now, Muriel. I'm solving a mystery. Don't bother. I've already done it. Hey? <laughs> There's nothing in the salad dressing. It's what you put it on that sends you. So salad bowls make you giggle? <laughs> <laughs> no, Ted. It's this. Mm -hmm. What? Patagonian loco weed. Small, mildly hallucinogenic, broad-leafed plant native to higher altitudes of the Andes. Staple grazing herb of alpacas. In warmer climates, grows up to 300 millimetres in diameter and resembles common iceberg lettuce. <laughs> this is it! We're rich!
Kent, the Johnston super lettuce. Chew your way to health and happiness. Plant <laughs> some more, Darcy. I can't. I ran out of seats. And the bloke I got them from is a long distance runner. Well, what does that mean? Interpol's after him. <laughs> Why? Look, it says resembles iceberg lettuce, however becomes more hallucinogenic and is a prohibited import in all Western countries. Ah, uh, poop. <laughs> what is it, Joe? It's my makeover, my masterpiece. James? Yes, meet James the Second. <laughs> hey, babe. What's happening? Oh, oh James! I, oh, James! You're beautiful. Oh, thank you, thank you, James. Can I give you? Hey, babe, lay off. Don't wrinkle the clothes. I've got a lot of nightclubbing to do. <laughs> Where are we going? We... Oh, no. You're looking at a free agent here. What do you mean, free agent? There's a lot of life out there for a chick magnet, and now I'm grabbing it with both hands. <laughs> Thanks, Joan. <laughs> See you, Sam. Call me sometime. James, don't go! <laughs> Have you ever sucked gravy from the toes of a black woman? <laughs> no. I have. <laughs>